<laughs> training video. So, I'm trying to get back in shape. There's smog all over the place. I'm exhausted. My lungs feel like shit. But, I don't know why I'm training. I just do. I had an idea. Um, basically, years of doing martial arts at wearing like a zillion different types of kicks. You know. The point where the point where it's like I can really do that one totally fucking missed because I was looking at the camera. Right. That. You know, step back. I like that one a lot because you step back and do the back kick, it's less risk. And if your opponent's moving inwards, right? Step back, they're gonna run right into your foot. But if you're moving away, they can catch your foot. But if you're bringing your foot back fast enough, you're gonna be far enough away that they're not gonna be able to properly catch it. I don't know, that's the idea. Application, I think it works a little different. But what I wanna start doing is I wanna just stay in a stance, kinda of just do different kicks. Because my idea is that I know so many kicks that the opponent's not gonna be able to tell what I'm gonna do if I don't, what's it called? Um, that one's hard to do. And it's hard to do because it's not, there's a certain range where you have to hit the opponent. Right? Guys here. Um, the problem is that if you do this wrong, you can very easily nut kick someone if you're, doing that in competitions. Um, you know, let's say you bring your leg up lazy. Somebody's nuts are right here. You, know, you, just, you don't want to do that. Um, yeah, just, just an idea I have. Just use many different cases. I want to see if it's going to work. I'll tell you guys I don't know if it will. That's a combination I really like. The thing about this is that when you're here, so you can um yeah. The technique you know, you kick, you stomp your foot on the ground, because you're hitting against the ground, especially if it's a mat, you actually get momentum. So, just from experience, when you do these, right, bring your foot back all the way. Make sure that your foot is parallel to the ground, and not parallel, perpendicular. And the reason I say that is because, you know, Taekwondo moves, if you, if you bring them up lazy, you can really easily accidentally nut shot someone. And that's not good. Um, it's just really important to change your kicks, especially if you're doing competitions. Because you really don't want to accidentally do that. Oh yes, another thing. Um, so a lot of people like to make fun of like people who train with a heavy bag and they just kind of push the bag. But when you're training bare fist, there's a joke in there that you guys that have no confidence for. It. That's why I'm laughing. When you're training bare fisted, the reason you're doing this is because you're practicing aligning your body and you feel that better if you push the back. That's why it's good to do that. Hooks. It's like you know what you're doing, so you can if you really hit it. You can actually and I think 
everybody knows what happens if you don't align the bone with like your your wrists properly. It's I guess I'm an artist. If I fuck up my hands, I'm not gonna be happy. But why well, it's really important um, to be slow when you're doing bare fisted and practice what you want is you want to become like an iron wall. You want to become a wall that's moving towards the opponent. You're practicing um it's probably physics for it. You're practicing uh putting your weight into your practice. The thing is you don't wanna like you know if you're in an actual fight you're your hands fast with your face. But the reason you do it slow on the bag is you really don't want to fuck up your hands. And you know, if you're in an actual fight, you fuck up your hands, this is not good. But, yeah, that's why I suggest practicing slow and why you see people do that. I see a lot of people, um, like at the gym, like I'll be doing that, and people say, you're not hitting the bag, you're pushing it, and I'm like, I'm doing that on purpose. If I bring out my leg that high, somebody could use that as an advantage. Because the higher your leg is from the ground, the longer it takes to get back to the ground, and the longer it takes to get back to the ground, the more time your opponent has to grab your leg. So I'm thinking of a high team kick. It's not really a team kick. get away with that, you're probably going to get your leg grabbed. If you actually get away with that, that's like a, a clean head kick. The thing I like to do, this is going to sound so fucking crazy, is I like to actually hit the chain from the back, but lightly, so that, you know, it's like you have more control. It just, it feels edgy, and I like it. Edgy's are not always good though. I really want to do that to somebody in sparring, but I'm just thinking like... It's kind of hard to do that without mauling somebody. It's a little bit of, uh, what's it called, telegraphing, but you can telegraph and then do the other kick. Just, uh, I'm going to kind of edgy. Don't use that. Don't use this kick in sparring because if you miss you can it's like 
You're not allowed to kick people straight in the knee. If you miss this kick, you're going to kick somebody straight in the knee. So don't use that kick in sparring. It's a good kick, but more so for self-defense than actually for sparring. It's just a really illegal move. like snake people's heads. It's great for Taekwondo. Um, Practice is that you can't really see that stepping. You step, you widen your hips, and you have more range to kind of swing the kick around and generate more torque. I think that's, that's how it goes. The other thing you can do, what I like to do is I like to, um, whenever I do a move, like a setup for a move, I always like to prepare two moves I can do from that setup. That way you're not very predictable. So from a step here, I'm leaning my weight on this part of this leg. Look, right? Step here. Step. Kick. And by doing that, you're not predictable. Because setting up can mean you're setting up for four different moves. I like to do that. I'm really good at attacking. see what I'm doing, unfortunately, is the way the camera is. This is the best thing for a But I am pushing off my foot and kind of like bouncing like this. The reason I'm doing that is because it, you move faster, um, straight for punches. It's just good for your motion control, I think. thing is, is that when you move, when you step into something like this, you know, when you set up the, you don't accidentally move right into somebody's hand. So you get your hands off. Yeah. What else? Oh yes, stepping into a technique like that, um, you can also throw the person off balance if they do like a. Kick. Push kick. Because a lot of people when they do push kicks, they focus on having the moment, like the strength of movement at the end of the kick, instead of the, the full range of motion. Um, what I mean is, let's say I do a back kick, right? Like a spinning back kick. I want to be able to strike the target hard from different angles. I mean, from different ranges. So when I do a side kick, I want to be able to hit the opponent when they're close and when they're far. But you'll never really fully establish that, develop that. So there's always a weak 
point in the kick, in the range of motion for the kick. Um, so if somebody is, you know, doing with a side kick, maybe even a roundhouse kick, team kick, if you move in like this, you can jam up their kick. Um, because they want to have range to do it. But if you do it wrong, you could move into somebody's attacks at a time correct. It's not really a kick, it's a trick. Um, it's not as fast. You can put your weight into it a little bit. So it moves the bag more. So you know you're doing it right. I have no idea if that's illegal. Stepping side kick, except to kick into it. Okay. Except you gotta watch your target more so you don't, you know, miss. What I imagine somebody doing with one of those is going under and going straight to the groin. Luckily, I don't have that problem. So, but I just, I just think that's funny. I always think the idea of somebody doing like a high kick and getting punched in the nuts is really funny. YouTube footage and I had fun so bye everyone